Hey everyone, I'm Oliver Shortle, National Artistic Manager for Kenra Professional. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to use our sugar beach regimen to create texture in hair that may not have any natural texture. So let's get started. In my consultation with Devin, uh, I found that she likes to wear her hair wavy but doesn't have a lot of natural wave. As a stylist, you know that that's something we're seeing a lot in the salon but also for what clients want at home. So I'm not only gonna be teaching you today but also Devin how to recreate this look. Now that I've prepped Devin with our Sugar Beach Sweet Soft Texture Shampoo and Conditioner, we're ready for the product application. So I'm gonna start with our Sugar Beach Sun Cream and apply that from roots to ends, about a quarter size amount. The Sugar Beach Sun Cream will give the hair texture while leaving it extremely touchable. Once I feel that the cream has been evenly distributed, I'm gonna work with my Sugar Beach Spray to add even more touchable texture. Because Devin doesn't have a lot of natural texture, I'm gonna to need to create it. So I'm gonna do a twist set starting from the back, going all the way through to the front, and that'll give her more of that natural looking wave. So I'm gonna take fairly large sections with Devin's hair because I don't want this set to be too curly. I still want it to be quite stretched out. So I'll wrap around two fingers, working from side to side. These twists don't have to be perfect. The more erratic it is, the more natural it'll look. As you're working through this set, really be careful to not disrupt the previous section. So the way that you can do that is by twisting away the hair that you're not working with, taking your section, twist it away again. So once I've gotten to the parietal ridge of my first side, I wanna to jump to the other side and do the same thing. With the top, I wanna to twist everything going back. Um, that way it'll create lift in the hair and it won't give a very heavy part. It's very important to remember that you maintain a constant moisture level in the hair, otherwise the curl will not set, it will not stay, it could frizz or drop. I've just finished my twist set and now I'll be moving on to diffusing. Because I wanna add volume into Devin's hair, I'm gonna flip her over to start my diffusing. By doing that, it'll create a lot of lift at the root. I'm gonna be drying from her ends all the way into her root. Now that the top and sides of Devin's hair are dry, I wanna leave it hanging down for just a little bit to allow it to cool. That way it'll lock in that texture, lock in that movement, and lock in that volume. I hope you enjoyed this video focused on how to create a beautifully textured look. Comment below to let us know what you wanna see next and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel.